Hey guys, what's up? It's Dylan Godino from LaughSpin.com. We are here in Grand Rapids, Michigan at LaughFest. Sitting next to me, you might recognize him, it's comedian Jimmy Schubert. Jimmy! Dylan, good to see you. How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. I'm in Grand Rapids. I'm at the Double Emerald Diamond Distributor Suite over at the Amway Hotel, that's, which is nice. That's a good one, I hear. No, it is. It's nice. Uh, you gotta, you got to earn it. I mean, who would have thought that in the middle of uh, Grand Rapids that you have this great... And you get this, it's a great little town, but they got great venues, and uh, people really come out and support it. So last night we did a show at the uh, Orbit Room here, which is a thousand people sold out. Uh, really great event. Uh, everything's been so great here at the festival, you know. That, I mean, hospitality. I love that this, they're doing it for the Gilda House, yeah. the Gilda Rennes Charity, which yeah. is uh, such a you know great cause. So it's, and, and they're raising a lot of money, and they're getting them really big names out here. Yeah, they do, uh, they do an excellent job. I was here last year. Could not believe uh, the, the type of job they did, uh, especially on their first year. So um, it's great that you're here supporting yeah. the cause. Um, and, and thank you, by the way. Jimmy, you should know, is, was, is just about to get on a plane, and we dragged him back here. And he was happy <laughs> and enthusiastic to, uh, to talk to us. I so, am so, not so any, I'm a professional. If I'm not anything, <laughs> I'm at least a professional. You know what I mean? So, yes. Uh, the thing I wanted to talk to you a little bit about was uh, what's going on in politics. I know you're... A, Fairly politically minded guy. Uh, what, yeah. are, what, what are your What are your thoughts on? Uh, do you really want to know my real thoughts? I do. My real because, thoughts. See, I'll tell you why. Because everybody says uh, that stand up comedy or comedy in general is inherently you know liberal or you know it goes that way, and yeah. you don't necessarily subscribe to that. Well, I'll tell you the truth. What I realize is is that they're all full of shit. And it doesn't make a difference whether the Republicans or Democrats. Right. I mean, one's going to fuck you, and the other ones are going to fuck you, but they're going to give a reach around, so you're going to feel better about it because mm -hmm. you gave me a reach around. But to tell you quite frankly, it's the, the problems that we have in this country are, have been going on for the last 30 years. There have been Republicans in charge, there have been Democrats in charge, and it never seems to get any better. And I, I just the audacity of fucking people to think that one side's better than the other side. These guys are better than these guys. And these guys, you go, you're a fucking idiot. I will kick you in the fucking neck. I mean, you're, you're getting fucked here. You think it, it's not even a joke. They they really have taken their the American dream and wiped their ass with it, and people are losing their houses, and, and it's not going to get any better. I mean, it's basically trying to teach a chimpanzee to write with a pencil, and when they can't do it, they're going to stab you in the eye with the pencil, and that's what you got. There's no fixing it, but, you know, by all means, let's not give the job to the most qualified person. Let's give it to uh, let's give it to somebody like you know a, a woman reporter on the sidelines at a football game. Please inform me on a game you've never coached or played. What are you going to bring to it on the sideline? Telling me, listen. I mean, if you're in a bikini and you're giving it to me, then you got something. I'm watching, but. I think it's, you don't see me in the kitchen talking dishwashing strategies. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds sexist, but it's not. You know, I, I'm sure there's a guy, an ex-player, an ex-coach, who's more qualified <laughs> to be on the sideline, who could fill me in a little more about what's going on with the game itself. I'm sure I'm going to get shit for this, but I don't care. You, you know, when you've been sufficiently distracted with all this horse shit, like, you know, Dancing with the Stars, and the X Factor, and, and American Idol, and Facebook, and mm -hmm. Twitter, and people wake up one day and they realize they no longer live in a country that resembles anything what America once was, or, or that has anywhere near the opportunity we once did as a great nation, and they call to complain, they'll be talking to somebody in India. Right. So basically what you're saying, Jimmy, is We're fucked. everything is going to be okay. Yeah, it's going to be okay. All right, lightning yeah. round questions. Lightning round we're, questions. We're, we're asking some questions to all the comedians here uh, at Laugh Fest uh, okay, here in Grand round. Rapids. Uh, Jimmy. Yes. Your favorite smartphone application? Shazam. Shazam. That's the one where you, yeah, you hear a yeah, song. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good one. Okay. You are uh, the one website you cannot go one day without checking. You porn. And uh, what now? Is there a category in YouPorn uh, where the, you 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 tend to you tend to stray? Milfs. Milfs. Yeah. Good. Good. Do you have a favorite milf? <laughs> no, do you know them by names? No, I'm, I'm not watching it longer than three minutes anyway. You know what okay. I mean? We're rubbing one out. We're moving on. I do. So I'm not I getting do, emotionally get, involved with the porn. Get the poison out. I understand. <laughs> I understand. What, uh, what what would you say is your worst habit? I'm probably the upper end of social as far as drinking goes. Okay. So it's probably my worst habit. That's, uh, but uh, you know, but uh, yeah, I, I probably. Uh, That's the greatest euphemism I've ever I've ever heard. What's that? 
the upper the upper end of social uh, as far as your drinking goes. Yeah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use that. Nice. Okay, good. Uh, your favorite sexual position? I, I like to box the compass. You know, what I mean, I, I mean, I just don't have one position. Uh, you know, I'm an Aries, so I like to, you know, yeah, sure. get on the, get on the nightstand with the alarm clock. You're over sure, there using yeah. the other end of the phone, and that way, the next day when you wake up, everything you look at in the house reminds you of the, the tremendous sex you had. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, what I don't like to do is I like being drunk, and you have, you know, that you know, that drunk sex with a woman who just started her period, and you wake up the next day, and it looks like a homicide was committed. There's a bloody handprint. There's mm -hmm. David Caruso standing at the foot of the bed. I, you know I know what I mean? it all too well, and but you, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just, it looks like someone was murdered in the room and you, go, mm -hmm. you, you could have said something but you were too drunk to realize and uh, that's probably the worst. <laughs> <That's> probably, <laughs> you've, you've just described my entire life. Jimmy. That's probably too much information but uh, you know <laughs> it's happened. All right last one. Okay. The last time you, <laughs> the last the last time you cried Jimmy Schubert. Last time I cried all right look at me I'm gonna tell you this woman named <laughs> who lives in Denver a woman I had known for six years, I dated for a year and six months. She dumped me with her thumbs. It was a woman who ripped my heart out of my ass and fed it to me like a cheeseburger. Did you say she, she dumped you with your thumbs? Yeah, she text messaged me. She thumb dumped me. She thumb dumped me like this. I can't give you what you emotionally need. Like, like you, I mean, you're 36 years old. You don't pick up a phone and talk to somebody. You know, I should have gone back. I look at it now and I go, there were clues. There were clues. Right. The silverware drawer. I know it's not going to seem like a big deal to you, but you open the silverware drawer, there was no divider in the silverware drawer. <laughs> the silverware was just dumped in a drawer. It was like, just dumped in, like, who does that? I mean, if that's what the inside of your silverware drawer, what does the inside of your fucking head look that's, like? That's, socio I mean, that's sociopathic behavior, Jimmy. Listen, I'm OCD. So to me, that is sociopathic. You can get them for 98 cents at the 98 cent store. And, you, you know, you put them in. I mean, you have kids. You've got to set an example here. What kind of example are you setting? I, I, I agree. Jimmy, thank you so much for being uh, with us. Uh, check out Jimmy at JimmySchubert.com. Yes, sir. Uh, you can find him on Twitter at Jimmy Schubert. Yes, and uh, Facebook at Jimmy Schubert fan page. And, so. all, and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm Dylan Guidino from LaughSpin.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See ya. See ya.